With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. A battle in the Western Conference. This Houston crowd hoping to watch their Rockets come out on top. And this matchup with the Spurs, it's their first meeting of the season. They swept this team in four games in the conference semis last year. Both sides have that series on the brain right now. You have plenty of familiarity in this matchup. Last season, they were knocked out of the playoffs by this club. Tip-off goes to Houston. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the court right now for the Spurs. Parker and Green are the guard set. Aldridge is at the four with Gasol at the five. And it's Leonard in at the small forward position. It's good. Opening day upon us, Brent. Some teams already looked as if they are championship contenders already. Others clearly in a rebuild mode. What's the mindset of players entering the season on a rebuilding team? Well, if you're a veteran guy, you're asking your agent, can I get a trade? <laughs> they, they, would, they would love to get on one of those contending teams. But a, a rebuilding team is about making progress each month, really, quite honestly. That's what you want to see, Kevin, is progression month to month. Each of the games maybe chunk out a block 20 games here 20 games there and you want to see just improvement overall and what your squad is doing well the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender but but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket a reason or what san antonio with the ball Ring shot on the way, and Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Gasol. Now that's what you're going to get with Powell Gasol, a tremendous passer who's got his eyes up at all times. Here's Paul. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. They get Paul Gasol. And one of the surprise moves of this past offseason was Chris Paul moving to Houston, joining James Harden to become one of the strongest backcourts in our league, kicked off a feeling that Houston would be a force this season. Two shots. First free throw is good. And you know, Greg, many thought that Chris Paul may take a look at San Antonio, and he did, but Houston was too enticing a chance to pass up. Yeah, it's certainly a distinctive third chapter in Paul's career. Uh, he's always been criticized for not going deep in the playoffs, and you saw Houston as maybe his best bet to make a deep run. And so Paul nails both of them. Well, Chris Paul signing the big contract this past offseason, and, you know, you knew he'd end up with one of the biggest deals out there, and his impact on a team goes far beyond just stats. Now here's Green. Parker outside. A three from Leonard. The rebound by Anderson. The Rockets have gone just one of four to get this game started. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Well, Greg, Houston wanted Chris Paul, and they got their man. One of the bigger surprises, certainly, of the offseason. 
Yeah, and without Paul on this roster, this team isn't in the conversation for winning. You, you need him to keep your window of winning open, and he is just that impactful and makes everyone on the floor better. Leonard, no luck. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. Harden sets the pick for Paul. Harden outside. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And your point guard has those kind of excellent instincts. Ripping the D to pieces comes along with it. Outside, Green. Aldrich is screaming. Green against Harden. Here's Leonard. Green breaking loose. Good on the 13-footer. And that's now six points for Leonard. And there just aren't many guys that have a more devastating mid-range game. Leonard has fine-tuned that shot to where it's almost automatic. Now here's Paul. Five points in the game over Parker. That one wide left. I still love the shot selection. The defense wasn't really a factor. You need to be more aggressive guarding the mid-range. Screen by Parker. Gasol a screen on Capella. Now Leonard. He's got six. Six to shoot. Parker kicks to Alt. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Aldridge has got his first bucket of the night. A super high percentage shot from Aldridge there. Layups work. Anderson wide open. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here's Gasol. Looking for his first basket still in this one. That one drops for him. Great size and great balance for a big man. Aldridge does a superb job of finishing through the contact. Paul kicks to a reason. Addition out to Capella. Here's the screen. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Second chance shot. Harden, no good. Well, the D did their job there. Excellent contest to alter the close ranger. Kicks to Green. Aldridge's screen. Feeds it to Leonard. Good-looking screen by Gasol. Jumper off the screen. Another one falls for San Antonio. Uh, he's having a night right now. Credit to the shooting touch, helping his team with the lead. And the San Antonio Spurs, the best bench net rating in the league last season. Brent third in bench minutes. Well, it's amazing the way that Pop controls the players' minutes. So the starters don't play a ton. The bench guys get enough minutes to play cohesively together. And one of the guys who was hugely impactful coming off the bench last year for them was Patty Mills. And in fact, last year, they became the first 60-win team to have 11 different players that played at least 1,000 minutes. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Substitution here. Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Bahamute comes in for Anderson. PJ Tucker, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Gordon subbed in for James Harden. Anderson passes to Gay. San Antonio again missing. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I was able to talk with Mike D'Antoni for just a minute. He told me this is a fun night trying to slow down a team that's so smart and opportunistic. He said, look, we've scouted them, but this is the first time we've actually seen them this season. 
So it would be interesting to see if we can disrupt their offense and slow them down just a little bit. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thanks. They watched their best effort defensively, knowing what a slick shooting team they're up against. And I think they'd be smart to try to deny them the ball inside, guys. That the best way to keep a team from getting hot is to not give them the easy looks down low. Yeah, make sure there is no vacancies out there at the three-point line, Greg. This is a team that can really hurt you from all over the floor. Gordon with it. Picked up by Ginobili. Ball left side. 104 left here in the opening quarter. Fires top of the key. And again, the Rockets good for two. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now here's Mills. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And it's in there. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Now here's Paul. Outside Gordon. Benet setting the pick for Gordon. Pass to Tucker. Screen by Bahamute. Poked away. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Here's Gordon from deep. That is pure Manu there. Aggressive and relentless, in particular on the defensive end. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. San Antonio shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And as a team, excellent a season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. When Gay is locked in, he's special. Uh, an efficient scorer who can effortlessly take over games. Here's Gay. No good there off the double clutch. A big time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for Houston. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be right back after this.